Despite the organisers' constant efforts to ensure maximum security for the numerous fans along the road, the Dakar remains a dangerous event. The tragic death of a female spectator on Saturday serves as a painful reminder. The drivers often travel inside rural areas and it's practically impossible to foresee such incidents, despite the heavy security measures taken by the organisers. We have two coordination posts on the Dakar, one which we refer to as PCO, which is just behind me, where a team of 18 people work around the clock throughout the race to coordinate our own intervention and rescue teams, and liaise with local authorities, who are very much present in this race throughout South America. We also have a second coordination post which is based in Paris. This one is responsible for centralizing all the distress calls. As you will know, all contestants are equipped with an airy track box. This system enables us to pinpoint the driver's location at any time and to contact or be contacted by him. Furthermore, we also have a beacon which provides extra security. Four medical helicopters, 50 doctors and an imposing mobile hospital. And above all, the whole road is tagged. The entire track is obviously double-checked by local authorities, with specific areas designated for the public, protected areas where fans are invited to follow the Dakar. We also have another security measure which consists in a campaign aiming at warning the public of possible risks during the race. A whole range of media was used several weeks ago, including radio, the written press and television, to make people more aware of the unavoidable risks related to a motorsports race. Despite all these efforts, a car race remains extremely dangerous, so please be careful on the side of the road.